KG, there's a patient at Crash Bank. Can you come and have a look, please? Yeah, yeah, sure. At the Gold Coast Emergency Hospital. Check his chest. Eight-month-old Billy has been rushed in after being run over by a bicycle. Oh! Yeah. Okay, Billy's in trouble. The biggest concern we have is that Billy's gums are like are almost white. So she's potentially bled somewhere, and if she has bled, she's bled a lot. Right, she's got some swelling. Given pain relief, given part of it IV, part of it subcutaneously. Hey, team. The young dog yeah. is in extreme shock and needs an urgent blood transfusion. What's the heart rate, Jeremy? I'm 40. And what's your pulses feel like, team? Yeah, her pulses are very weak. Oh, Billy. That's all right, you get it. Oxygen helps, oxygen helps. You need some oxygen, you stay there, hey? So Billy's pale, we're stabilising her with fluids. <laughs> so we're just going to do a little ultrasound and... See what's in there. Give a little sample, Billy. hey? Okay. Just going to find a pocket of fluid. Whoa. Settle, settle. An ultrasound will tell Gerardo if Billy has internal bleeding. OK. And your little sample now, sweetie. Good girl. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Oh, wow. OK. The news isn't good. Blood. Lots of blood. Cool. Run. Thank you. My biggest concern here is that she's bled into the abdomen. The thing is, though, there's so much blood in here. Colour is terrible. So we confirmed. So we did an ultrasound and we collected a small amount of fluid and confirmed that it is blood. So she has bled inside. I don't know where the bleeds come from. It could be from her spleen, it could be from her liver, it could be just from a blood vessel, we don't know. But that's not the important thing. The important thing is she needs blood transfusion. I am super worried. She's a sweet dog and her parents love her so much. And I think that there's a high possibility that Billy may not make it. So if we get anything ready, we're going to go into ultrasound and we're going to harvest some of her own blood in there and give that back to her. That blood that's in there is the safest blood to give and give it quickly as well because there's going to be no reactions. Maybe get clipping. Yeah, let's go a little, just, just a little bit further. Just, it'd be good for me, don't, don't jump, hey? Okay. Let's check her kidney. Okay. Kidney looks nice and normal. And now we're coming over to the spleen. That looks like it, doesn't it? I think I found where the bleed's coming from. And it's not a good place. There is a big blood clot up near her right liver. What we're gonna do is place a catheter into Billy's abdomen, then we're going to harvest the blood. It's gonna go through into a collection bag and then into a filter and then straight back into Billy's vein. So that's her own blood. So it means there should be no reactions at all. Right down the back here, team. Gerardo has located a spot where he'll be able to insert a catheter but it's precariously close to Billy's spleen. I'm gonna be careful not to lacerate it because that will cause catastrophic bleeding. So that's a spleen just there, and that's our catheter. Now we're harvesting all that blood. We've got the catheter in now, and within seconds, we've collected already about 50 mils of Billy's blood. And we're about to put that straight back into her vein. We've removed 400 mils of blood and it looks like as if there's at least twice that much volume still in there. So we're going to keep on harvesting and start giving it back to her. So before, we had organs floating around in blood, but now there's significantly less. Good girl, Billy, good girl, Billy. Good. Ooh, 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 I... 
Good girl. Oh, hello, Bill. Oh, are you, are you, what are you doing? You're stretching. Are you stretching? You were stretching. So, Billy is looking around and she's even stretched a couple of times and she's so sweet. Means that the blood is making a difference already. So we're only halfway through giving the blood we've harvested. I want to go tell her mum and dad the good news because they need some good news because when they brought her down, they thought she was going to die. Come on through. Hey Kirsten, this is Billy's mum and dad. She's just having a bit of steam Yeah. Thank you. Good girl. Hello. I'm feeling pretty. She's definitely a lot more responsive. Hey, Daddy. She's like 100% better, almost. Not quite back to normal, but she's. So the plan now is. We're going to monitor closely and monitor for any kind of further bleeds into their abdomen. Yep. Um, we're going to give Billy some medications which help stabilise clots. So hopefully that clot that's there stays there and then we just wait. Okay. She has about 1.5 litres of blood in her. Okay. I think there's probably about eight, 900 mils in her abdomen and she was like this close to not making it. But we've pulled out about 700 mils and we've given it all back to her yeah and yeah massive difference right. so she just we just gotta pray pray that that clot stays there okay you can spend some more time just 12 hours later Billy is continuing to astound Gerardo with her remarkable recovery. Hi, little Billy. Oh, you look so much better. Good morning. How was your night? Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. Okay, there you go. You can finish it off. And then we have a look at your gums. Cool. And one more. Nice and pink. Hey, aren't you a good girl? It's so awesome to see Billy this morning. She's bright, she's eating, and the nurses say that she's walking around. We don't want her too active because there's still a clot there that may dislodge, but she's definitely heading in the right direction. And if she continues along this way, 24, 48 hours, she'll be right to go home. Our friends at Budget Direct provide pet insurance that can help you with the cost of treatments like these. Hey, a little fighter boy. This may avoid you having to make a heartbreaking decision about the care your best friend needs. Pet insurance solved with Budget Direct. <laughs>